Hey everyone, before the video begins, a huge new merch drop in the store called the Warm and Cozy Collection. It's got a mug, a sketchy Becca hoodie, a cabinet of curiosities blanket, and a Witch of the Woods varsity hoodie and matching socks. This is one of my favorite things we've ever made. It is super high quality and I love the patches all over it. Link in the description below. Now on with the spoops. Oh, 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 it's it's just you. Sorry, I, I thought you were something else. Hey, explainers and entertainers. Uh, happy Halloween! Well, don't just dangle off my balcony like a creeper. Come on up. Got pumpkin pies cooling in the kitchen. Should be enough for everyone when they're done. Eh, don't worry about that storm. Pretty sure it's gonna pass right by us. But it certainly sets a mood, doesn't it? You know, living out here in this treehouse alone in the woods is pretty great. Can't complain. Nope, not at all. Except, I mean, sometimes your brain kind of plays tricks on you. Like, I don't know, making you see things out of the corner of your eyes, or hear things following you in the woods. Eh, clearly the spooky season is getting to me. Anyways, when I was thinking about what I could possibly do for Halloween, suddenly this ghost story just kind of came to me. So while I carve up a pumpkin, I'll spin you a tale about greed, pride, and being careful what you wish for. Once upon a time, there was a poor musician who lived alone with his daughter. He dreamed of one day having riches beyond his wildest fantasies, his name being known far and wide in the pages of history. One night, the musician sought the counsel of Satan himself, asking the Prince of Darkness to fulfill his desires. Satan agreed, but warned the musician that it would cost his soul, and the life he would receive may not be what he expected. The musician waved away the warning and demanded his wish be fulfilled. So, taking the musician's soul as payment, Satan granted fame and fortune upon his house. Soon the musician began to travel from town to town playing his music for crowds while his daughter sang and danced. But though the musician played beautifully, the people became enraptured not by his music, but by the charm and talent of his daughter. They cheered her name and threw coins at her feet. Soon she had become so well known that they were called upon to perform in the houses of lords and ladies, in large majestic theaters for hundreds of onlookers, and even for members of royalty. The musician and his daughter became fabulously wealthy, and everyone from pauper to prince knew the daughter's name and face. The musician wanted for nothing and rubbed elbows with the highest of elite society. But it was not enough. He soon became bitter, jaded, and lonely. He realized that no one cared for him or his music. They only spoke of his daughter. The man's legacy was not his own, but that of his child's. For this, I traded my immortal soul? It cannot be, he cried. Regret and vanity consumed the man, blackening his heart. He desperately wished to take it all back, to return to a moment in time before he made his deal. The musician called upon Satan again, looking to undo what had been done. But the Prince of Darkness stated that only a great sacrifice could break the deal. If the musician wanted to return back in time, he must kill his daughter, and thereafter live his new life without her. With a heart completely consumed by darkness, the musician agreed. But unknown to him, his daughter had been eavesdropping and overheard the demonic arrangement. She ran for her life as far away as she could where no one knew her name or face. She hid herself from the world and disappeared, never to be seen again. Her father searched for her the rest of his life relentlessly seeking to complete his part of Satan's deal. He walked the earth, no longer a man, but a monster. After many years, he eventually succumbed to death. But it's believed his soul is cursed by Satan to forever search for his daughter, eternally seeking to fulfill a bargain 
he'll never be able to complete. They say when his spirit is near, you can feel his desperate prowling eyes upon you. And if you hear a second set of footsteps when you walk alone, be careful the mad musician doesn't take you instead. Thank you so much for tuning in, but now... Oh! <sighs> I gotta tune out and get some candles. Bye! Man, there's broken glass everywhere, and I gotta go get a broom, too.